Bethany Moda and welcome to Make Me Over on Awesomeness TV, the show where you can be surprised with a makeover from my glam squad and I. So today we are surprising Lauren and Lauren actually submitted herself for this makeover because she just moved to Los Angeles from Colorado so she wants to leave her old style behind and achieve a California girl look. So check out her submission video. Hi, my name is Lauren Gardner. I'm 15 and I'm from Denver, Colorado. I actually just moved out to Los Angeles and so for my makeover, I really want to embrace the California girl look. My style back in Denver was pretty comfortable and conservative, but I really want to change it up. And I'm hoping that my new style would allow me to fit in and meet some new people here. Thanks. Bye. from Awesomeness TV and I heard that you just recently moved to California from Colorado and you really want to switch up your style to have a more California girl vibe. So I brought my glam squad with me. So this is Roxy. Hi. Taylor. Hey. And Taja. Hi. And we are going to be giving you a makeover today. Are you ready? Yes. I'm so excited. Okay. Let's get started. <laughs> Lauren, you want to tell me about your current style? Well, my dad and I just moved to Los Angeles from Denver for my acting career, and we left my mom and my little brother behind. And my style back in Colorado was kind of conservative and comfortable, but I really want to change that here and be a California girl so I can kind of fit in and make some friends and stuff. Okay, Lauren, so California style is very laid back, so I brought you a few cool things. I think one of the key pieces is to keep it very simple. So this key piece is a hot pink cotton tank top, and the thing about this is you can wear it with shorts, jeans, a skirt, really whatever you want, mm -hmm. and I just think it's super cute. Yeah, I love the color. It's so bright and fun. So speaking of fun, I have the perfect skirt. I think this fluorescent top will really make a nice statement piece for the skirt because it is floral and I really think it does give it that like California vibe. And I love the rope like belt on this. It's just super cute and adds like a nice detail to that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I never would have thought to try this on, but now that I see it together, I think it's really cute. I know, I love it. Mm. And to finish off the outfit, I found these in your closet and I was like, <laughs> we have to use these. So a key piece to a laid back outfit is I think sandals for shoes. Mm -hmm. So I really like that these have a little rhinestone detailing because it kind of dresses it up a little bit while still keeping it casual and comfy. And mm -hmm. I think it totally just finishes off the outfit really well. Definitely. So do you want to try it on? Yeah. All right, go ahead. Mm. So I love all three of these outfits because they're very casual and laid back while still being cute and presentable. So outfit number one, I love the printed skirt with the solid color top because solid colors tend to really balance out strong patterns and also the long chain necklace kind of just dresses it up a little bit. Yeah, and I really like this outfit because we definitely kept that like California girl, but we really dressed it up. So I love outfit number two because of the bright coral dress. I think it's just a nice pop of color and also the printed scarf is a nice touch. Yeah, I like the scarf because it just adds a really nice like pop because the dress is so like simple and it's still very casual. And for the last outfit, this one is probably one of my favorites because it's very trendy and a lot of things that I would wear myself. So lace shorts are very in right now and they're really easy to wear and I think it's best to wear them with a sheer blouse like this one. I think the mint color is gorgeous and also the strappy booties kind of just finish off the whole look. And outfit number three is perfect because it's really dressy, so anytime she has an audition, I think this outfit will be perfect. All right, guys, leave a comment below and let me know out of the three outfits which one you like the best. So, Lauren, I know you're going for that California girl style. Have you ever thought about dyeing your hair blonde? Yes, I have. I think it would be really pretty, but I think I don't really want to go all the way there yet. Um, because I have, you know, auditions and headshots, yeah. I kind of don't want to dramatically change it. Yeah, I totally agree. Sometimes I'll go through phases where I want to, like, change up my hair, but I've never dyed it before, so I'm yeah. really scared <laughs> to. So a good solution to that is to get some hair extensions that are a different color than your natural hair. Oh, yeah. And you can just put those in, and it's a nice way to switch up your hair if you're not ready to take the plunge and actually dye it. Mm -hmm. So that's a fun little solution, and if you don't like them one day, you can just take them out. So that's what I do. Yeah, that works really well. And since you're going for that California girl look, I think a key is to keep your makeup very natural. And the way to do that is to enhance one of your natural features, which is your eyebrows. So your eyebrows are already a gorgeous shape, but people with lighter hair, their eyebrows tend to be a little bit less visible. Yeah. So a trick for that is to take a brow gel. So you want to make sure that the color of this is a little bit darker than your natural hair color. And then we're just going to blot this out on a tissue to get rid of any excess product. So just begin applying it where your eyebrow starts and then you want to get the arch 
and then blend it all the way to the end of your brow. And you can tell now they're a lot more visible and defined and it really accentuates them. And also, if you don't have a brow gel that's colored, you can use an eyeshadow to fill in your eyebrows. Yes, that's a perfect tip. I actually use that a lot. So now you can tell your brows are a lot more defined and accentuated. They look mm -hmm. awesome. So I'm going to let Taylor and Taja get started on your hair and makeup. And I'll see you guys later. Bye. Bye. So as you know, Lauren received a makeover today from my glam squad and I. She said that since she just moved to Los Angeles from Colorado, she wanted to switch up her look and create a look for herself that's more California girl. So that's what we helped her with today and she looks absolutely amazing. Okay, Lauren, come on out. Oh. <laughs> I think this makeover is going to help Lauren when she goes into her auditions and even her classes to feel more confident about who she is and who she can become in her acting. I've always thought Lauren was beautiful and always will because of who she is as a person, but when I saw her walk out, it was just awesome. She's just so gorgeous. <laughs> you look like you're part of the glam squad. <laughs> Good, you guys like it? <laughs> How do you feel? Do you like Amazing. it? Amazing, I love it. You look mm -hmm. awesome and I'm so glad you guys like it and dad especially, I'm very glad that you like it. <laughs> I think we definitely channeled that California girl vibe. You look amazing. So I could not have done this without my glam squad. Thank you, Taylor, Taja, and Roxy. You guys are amazing. Round of applause. So we're actually going to be giving you an Awesomeness TV makeover package. Oh my so, gosh. Yeah, the outfits that you tried on today you get to keep. So you can wear them when you're walking around LA. Look awesome. <laughs> So I'm really glad that you like it. We had so much fun Oh my today. gosh, thank you so much. <laughs> so guys, do you know someone in need of a makeover? Leave a video response below, let us know who it is and why. And also make sure to subscribe to Austinist TV for new episodes of Make Me Over every Friday. Bye. 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 <laughs> Back in Denver, my style was kind of casual, comfortable, just kind of Colorado girl. And so the first thing I noticed when I came here was that everyone is way different in style, but I love their style and I really felt like to fit in, I would kind of need to do that style. And I thought that even though I left my mom and brother behind and that was hard, I think that having this new style would be a great way to feel like I fit in and I'm a true California girl. I want to say thank you to Bethany and the Glam Squad and the entire team that helped put this together because I feel so confident and I'm so happy with what I look like now. I love it so much.